disabled elderly community potential source of major income. Let's realize that. We have to treat them with respect and dignity. When plan fulfilling their needs comes to no at no risk, that is also I have to make that point. But we have to be relentless and resolute. Lip service to the disabled come unacceptable and dishonest. Completely dishonest. Verify another recommendation. Maybe hotel ratings or franchise should be based on this accessibility issue also. Avoid construction or soon access compliance company without understanding. Again, maybe infrastructure at the university, obviously. So existing structures, at least on the historic one, let's make the path of travel compliant so they can go and see inside. Implement known and accepted access standards or rules via conscientious and coordinated planning between different government agencies and infrastructure development agencies. Be done within budget constraints. I believe that very much. You have to understand the simplicity of the issue. Don't make it very complicated. Empower with the basics, right? Equality, equivalency, and all of extraordinary, extraordinary power. I know each one of you is an achiever and a leader in your own right. So with that I say, that is the motto that I learned. I don't know how many of you are from St. Xavier's. Anybody from St. Xavier's here? I can say thank you. And I will be happy to answer any questions. Oh, All right, I think one you have to listen to. And see if they figure this out. So replace the word token with our final and see what happens. Nepalization. Yes. That's what I mean. Yes. So there is a security reason why you cannot have that place accessible. For if, because if they miss you, it's not. But if you Nepalize it and say, yeah, when somebody with a disability is there, that remains open. Yes. Then that's okay. Yes. So that's the alternative. You see what I'm saying? 
But we cannot again put on these narrow things and say it's like this. No, Nepal is it, but then you are still providing access yes, on an equitable, e equitable basis. So, yeah, can, the, yeah, go ahead. Another the good thing is, uh, like you know, every hotel I know that there are uh, provisions made for few rooms, you know, in few rooms. But uh, yeah, we got a request. In fact, in I think uh, early 2014, that the a group, they wanted to come. And that was around 20 rooms. We flatly refused because of, we are not ready for it. Like in this situation, how do you recommend? Like okay. that's why that's why I put one thing in there that said, please follow recognized standards by the California standard, which is the gold standard. If you have let's say 100 rooms, there's a certain percentage of rooms that have to be that can be made. If say 25 percent means there are 25 rooms, right? You. You don't have to isolate and say this is only for the disabled. You don't have to say that. When there are no disabled, you use them for the able. But when the disabled come, then the, you already are prepared to accommodate 25 people, right? This is what I mean. This is where tourism now comes in. If they know that in your hotel they can accommodate 25 people, they're going to come. Sure. Isn't that correct? And they're going to spend top dollars. But the provisions have to be already there. That yes, 25 of my room, can be made accessible as needed, which means their bathrooms are looking slightly bigger, door doors are slightly wider, their handrails. Now this really comes to you at no extra cost if you plan it right. Provision of equal equality. I'm going to Gulgel, I'm going to Gulgel Lodge. Beautiful mountain view. I cannot say I provided 25% access, but I put all the disabled in the back so they can't see the mountain. So there has to be an equitable distribution. Maybe for Booker, right? Maybe well, you don't. Have, it's not necessary that everybody get the golf course view. But a representative sample has to be given that. that can be done. And it's not a very difficult. It's, it's again planning, isn't it? Start planning this thing. Then you obviously your corridors are going to be wider. Your doors by themselves are going to be wider. Your access to the levels. Are, and if there, if you provide no access to the able to, by elevator at floors above, then the disabled need not have access. But if you provide an elevator and everybody gets to go up on that elevator, you cannot tell the disabled, sorry, you need to stay on the ground floor to be your disabled. <coughs> I can't give you a room upstairs, but you, and, and, and this is the same story of this investment bank story that came out, right? Whatever was that story, but the story is one of equity. So if you follow these simple principles, and get it from the right source. I think we'll make headways. We think again those thousand feet sphere of influence that I mean, if Kathmandu, just imagine it. Kathmandu Kathmandu guest house, house thousand feet. Well, imagine the impact is going for Radisson, just just imagine as you walk out of Radisson, I'm just, I'm, when you go to this tour, I'll show you. Imagine if your road coming in was completely accessible. All those shops were at the same level. Just imagine. How many more tourists would you get? If they can go shopping in the malls, they can go shopping, go for their tankas and their singing bowls and their... What does that mean? They could go, oh, let's go to Radisson because that's where I can... I can go, I have lunch, I can do these things, I can go shopping, right? I can go swimming, whatever it is. But if each of you did this, this whole area would be an area of access for everybody of them. This is actually what had happened in Kabul. I had a disabled room, her bottle was going 100%. I, as you said, it could be flexible. Yeah. I gave it to another guest, he refused to stay in the hotel. Yeah. Yeah. It's a perception, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's a perception. He said, why, why these, uh, you know? Why? 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 I said, so this is for physical challenge. And we have these rooms available with us. He said, no. And the beds were slightly low. Mm -hmm. But that was made yeah. according to the norm. Yeah. It, my experience, I'm sharing my experience. Uh, no, that's, that's also correct. The I think it's an attitude issue. We developed ourselves to Accept. adjust to this kind of acceptance as well. The lesson from that is the loser is the person who said no. Yeah, I mean, right? Probably you got, got a better view. That room probably had a better view than everybody else's in some ways. Well, it, was, it, was, it was a regular room and all, yeah. but then this thing prevailed. That's right. But sir, uh, yes. man, what he's trying to say is like, I have a discussion with Sankhaji also. We, this is our business, right? And people pay money, like, 
few hundred dollars and uh, they are supposed to get the normal rooms. This is what ha happened with his client, like he has booked a normal room. But due to a higher occupancy, maybe we have allocated him a disabled room. But in that uh, guest point of view, he is not happy you know, getting that room because he has paid for the normal room. But as you said, it can be normalized with the architectural uh, uh, changes uh, <coughs> making in the room. That is quite possible. But uh, no, I, I, I agree with you. But this is this is sometimes we get the challenge. <coughs> well, you know, okay, let's look at it this way. I mean, you as have you said, like the pers perspective of a people is different. Yes. That's true. But how many of these challenges do you really get versus the money mm -hmm. you're going to lose if you didn't, if you went the thought the other way? And remember, by by disabled, I don't mean only these people. Uh, people who, by definition, are worse off because they have to be in a wheelchair. I. I'm looking at the elderly yeah, people. people. Yeah. Who that's, are, that's, that's the who, growing market. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The people who are on these walkers and canes and, you know, half. So, I like it. 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 If you have a bathroom, you can use a perception of the women. You can use a woman. 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 You can use a use a woman. You can use a woman. You can use a disabled. You can use a woman. 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 You can use a and the elderly far, far outweighs anything else. That little company you can take over, you, you lost one client. He's not going to go around and say, you know, my father is going to go around and say, you know, So what? You have to laugh at him. What a stupid guy, you got a bigger room, you got a bigger bathroom, and you can take a better shower. Right? So that is only perception. That's right. 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 The disability is in the bad attitude. It That's is no, like the, the, uh, I just like to add what you've said. I met Scott when when I met him in California. He was driving himself, came out of ramp. He was pushing his wheelchair, whereas I was driven to that point by by a friend of mine. So at that particular time, I was more disabled or I needed help than him. Whereas the same person when I, when he was here, we carried him as a bag of potatoes at times because it is in our infrastructure and moreover it was the attitude because we think we never get older we think we never get any disabilities and that, can help. Well, that, that, that reminds me uh, just to add a real story like we were in temple tree in Bokra. Scott myself and the owner of uh, temple tree I met a guest of mine a German and while talking to him, I told him the reason why we were there. I told, I told him that there's a person on wheelchair who has come all the way from California to help us open up inclusive tourism. And I said, oh, I'd like to say hello to him. He came forward. And he said that he was also wheelchair bound for six months, falling off the horse. So we all can be temporarily disabled, if not for lifelong. So he told them, the, the, the owner of Temple Tree, that now, you should take the wheelchair and go around and how would you feel in your hotel? A very, very simple question he asked, you know, there's a practical... And then the, the owner realized that yes, my hotel is not accessible. It is, and as you rightly said, that now earlier the disability tourism was a kind of a niche. Very few people would look after specializing. But now the elderly number is growing, baby boomers are retiring. So there are more people who need access, uh, this accessibility.